y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to my Sunday stream. We do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X-2 Fiend Tales run. Oh my gosh. Hello, Koneko. I see you with the first there. Are y'all ready for some more Fiend Tales? Here we go. Let me get out of this menu. Okay. So... I, since the last stream, did some looking around, some looking around, and um, I figured out that we messed up. We messed up the ones that were like, this fiend is born to fight. You do actually need to level them up. Um, I think it's only once, but anyway, we've got one in our party right now, the Machina Striker. So I think we just need to level him up once and then release him, and then he does his little Aeon Cup thing. But basically, I looked through this bestiary here, and the ones that were like that, that we just automatically release. Like, we shouldn't have done that because they're not in the bestiary and they're supposed to be. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna take our Machina Striker friend and we're gonna do, we're gonna do a Grand Cup hard. Hopefully he can do it. We're gonna find out. We're gonna believe in him. Hopefully he can at least level up once if he can't finish it. Um, and then we're gonna release him and, he, and it should, it should do a little animation and put him in bestiary. And then we need to recatch the other three that we have done uh, for for the for the others, which is I've got it in my notes here. It's um, the Flan Blanco, the Mycotoxin, and the Flame Dragon. The Flame Dragon's going to give us a little bit of trouble, but I think the others we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine recatching them. I think there are flatback safety pins that you can glue on the pin back. Oh, I do have safety pins. They don't have a flat back, but um. You know, that could work. Like, that could totally work if I get a flat back one. Um, at least that's what I found when I was looking to making pins of my own. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So I just need to Google flat back safety pins, and then I can probably glue it on, because I have regular safety pins, but of course, like, I, I know that those that's gonna fall off if I glue it. There's no way. I, like, maybe I can try to hot glue it, but it won't last. Flat back safety pin. Okay, I'm gonna remember that and I'm gonna um, Google it after stream and uh, and try to do that. I should fix it. Okay. Okay, who's next? Uh, no, we just need some more large ones right now. Who are we fighting next? Shady Duo. Okay, this is one of the bullshit ones, isn't it? I think it is. I think this is one of the ones that we hate. Yep. Okay. Machina Striker, I believe in you. You can do it. Yeah, he's got Reflect, so that's not gonna work. <sighs> and now he's gonna ultima, ultima me and I'm dead. Okay. Whatever. We didn't even level up, I don't think. I, I wasn't really paying attention. I should have been, but I wasn't. Yeah, that Ultima almost killed him. Stupid is Shady Dua and Tom Barry the Ripper. If I get either of those, like, I cannot beat the, the Grand Cup hard. Yeah, triple play, I guess, is what you should have been doing, but clearly it doesn't do enough damage. Like, he's not dead. As soon as they actually attack again, we're done. There's no way we're killing them both before then. You tried, Miss. You tried, Machina Striker. You tried. You tried. It's all, it was a good effort. Okay, let's speed this shit up also, just like we've been doing recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it times two. Yeah, okay. All right, we tried, we tried, we tried. It's okay, Machina Striker. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. There's, uh, that, that fight, that fight is shenanigans. Okay, let's do a regular Grand Cup. I just need him to level up. I just need him to level up and then we should be okay with uh, with this. So basically at this point, we've got a whole bunch of large fiends that all need uh, to get going. Uh, no, we're good. We just need L's right now. Just L's. Do 
this actually isn't going too slow. Like I thought chapter five was gonna take forever when I first saw, you know, the guide for this and was like putting all my notes together for it and stuff. But it's actually not, it's actually not too bad. Okay, yes, we'll get the special. That'll help us go grab those other fiends that we need to, that we need to fix. Okay, he's almost leveled. Uh, no. Just larges and specials right now. So there's a method to re-getting Flame Dragon that we're gonna have to do. It says get eight trap pod larges, um, empty out the fiend party, save the game, and you just keep resetting until one of those larges gets him, basically. Okay, he leveled up. So when we release him now, it should do the thing and, um, and we'll be okay. Okay, so let's find out. Let's find out if we did it right this time. All right. Um, return. So he's still going to say this fiend lives to fight. Analysis failed. This fiend lives to fight. Okay, yes. So we're going to release him. Okay, and then he should go into the bestiary if I did this right. Now, we maybe have to level them up multiple times. I do not know because we were doing this wrong to begin with, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, where's the Machinas? Pop fry, okay. Yeah, so it didn't work. So I guess we have to level them up like five times, just like we do the others. So, okay, so we need to catch him again. So he was in the Thunder Plains. Let's go trap him again. Yes. Okay, so we messed that up. Um, creature creator menu. Let's try again. We'll level him up five times. Um, oop, not trap. I went to the zoo today and got absolutely swarmed by lorikeets in the Avery. Oh my God, that's so cute. I want to be swarmed by lorikeets. Oh my gosh. Um, they're cute birds, but they're overexcited. Lorikeets can be fed nectar and they know visitors tend to have food for them. Oh, so they thought you had some, they thought you had some like honey or nectar or something for them, huh? Did you, did you bring them a snack? Okay, so gosh, he's level 47 since they're leveled up now, since then. I did have food for them. Okay, smart birds. Very smart. Okay, what am I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna put uh, black lore and an iron duke on. Okay. All right, is that right? Oh my gosh, I've got the hiccups. Okay, yeah, that gives him a flare. Okay. So, okay. He's level... I'm going to write this down. So he's level 47 right now. Um, and then... Um, I have an idea. Yeah, I'll go down to the Fiend Arena. Okay, instead of Black Lore... No, instead of Iron Duke, because he's already pretty strong. We're going to give him um, Keys to Success, which should give him double all. Okay. Um... And then if we go to the garment grids, I think there, is there a garment grid that gives double XP or double AP or anything like that? Yes, this one, Covenant of Growth. Okay, and it's already got Moogle on it. So let's equip Machina Striker with Covenant of Growth and give him the Moogle, okay. 
All right. I think we're good. I think if we do that, and we're going to level him up five times. So let's do Grand Cup. Yes. So he needs to get, so if he's at 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So he needs to get to level 52. Okay. Here we go. And we can zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Silly birds landed too rough on my hand and spilled some of the nectar. Oh my god, that's not very smart. Okay, so maybe they are just birds. Somehow none of the birds that wanted to see what I had figured out they could lick up the nectar from my hand. They only drank from the cup. They probably do what they're used to. Or you know what? I bet I bet if they drink from the hand from like um certain people, they'll like try to try to, you know, like kids or something, probably like, you know, try to grab them. Um, so they probably have learned, like, that's not the best thing. You don't know which humans are that's going to be okay with and which ones that's not going to be okay with. That would be my guess as to why they wouldn't drink from the hand and they would only get in the cup and drink. Although, if they're drinking from the cup, you could probably still grab them if you really wanted to. But I bet it's easier to teach kids. They didn't care. They know people aren't allowed to touch them. One of them bit my dad's hand because he had no food for them. Well, he's a bitch. Like, he should have brought food for them. Duh. Like, pay the toll to see the cute birds. What? <laughs> like, he should have. Okay, I wonder if the fiend tail bonuses count for what I'm trying to do here with getting the five so that they do the they do the Aeon Cup thing. Uh, yeah, we can get a special. Okay. It didn't say Fiend Tail bonus, so I guess those don't count. So we really just have to get them to level 52. Um, okay. Okay, okay. One of them sat on his arm and tried to look at his phone screen like it was checking if the photos were good. Well, you know, sometimes you need a second opinion. The bird was trying to help. I get it. <laughs> Mom and I had food. Dad wanted just to take photos. Oh, of course, a few burps still decided to inspect Dad's coat. Well, yeah, you never know. What if he had nectar in his pockets? I mean, I always carry nectar in my pockets. So, like, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> you know, just so I have a little snack later. Um, <laughs> this is good. This is good for everybody, clearly. But that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I want to go to a zoo. I love zoos. Zoos are so fun. There's a really um, nice one in uh, Panama City, Florida. I've ever been there and there's a gorilla there that has a pet cat and uh, it's very fucking cute. I think it's a gorilla anyway. It's some kind of it's some kind of big ape. I don't remember exactly. But I remember he has a pet cat and that's what makes him so fucking cool. Okay, yeah. Our machina striker does not need no iron duke. Like this is all good. He's making me feel like I want to try Grand Cup hard again, but <laughs> it's useless. It's useless. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to try it again. I'm going to do it. Maybe we won't get Tonberry the Ripper this time. The zoo I went to today has giant anteaters. Such pretty animals. Impossible to take photos of, though. Why? One of them sat on his arm and tried to look at his... Oh, you were... I already read that message. Why... Why are they hard to photograph? I don't think I've ever seen giant anteaters. If I have, I don't remember them. I would think giant anteaters would move pretty slow, so they'd be easy to take photos. They don't like to be out in the open. Oh, so they go hide. Oh, shady duo again. Stupid shady duo. I hate you so much. You're the bane of my existence. How do you beat Shady Duo? Somebody tell me. I know. I'm a loser, baby. 
so why don't you kill me? Uh, Just fight this guy over and over. Maybe that'll be faster. Literally all the time they walk around in the back of the enclosure and they're faster than you'd think. Really? They're fast? Like, they look like so lumbering. I would think that they're like, you know, slow. Like, they just like chill. You know, like capybara. That's how, in my imagination, they like move like capybara. Okay, he died real fast. Did he give, does he give me lots of S S SPs? I need, I need lots of XPs. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, let's fight. Let's just um, fight No Mercy over and over. No Mercy, we'll teach him his lesson. Maybe he'll have mercy at someday. Um, maybe not. Who knows? You know, I'm just trying. We'll see. Gosh, this guy's got lots of skills. They walk pretty fast, not as fast as a pacing panther, but pretty darn close. Really? So they move like predator speed. That's crazy. I mean, I guess they are meat eaters. Ants are not vegetables. <laughs> but I just don't imagine them that way. You know, because like in my mind, if like you're not that bothered by ant bites, you could just like eat ants. It wouldn't take that much skill, you know, because they're just like in giant piles. So... You wouldn't need a lot of skills if you're okay with getting bitten. Or like you're immune to it or whatever. Ants are not vegetables. <laughs> Sometimes I say smart things like ants are not vegetables. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure, right? <laughs> Bugs count as meat. They have proteins. Right? Okay, I think I might need to Google like how many levels these guys are supposed to get. Okay. Aeon Cup Guide. That should bring it up. found a thread, but it's just about where you catch them. I just want to know how much you level them up. It's unclear. Well, we'll keep fighting. Bugs count as protein. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, Aeon Cup. Yeah, this says by five levels. The Aeon Cup will become unlocked when all monsters have evolved. Okay, so we gotta do five levels and then release them. Okay, I do feel like going the no mercy route is going a little bit faster than what we were doing before.
Okay, he's 50. He needs 50, two more levels. 52. Okay. So we're going to do it right this time. And if we do it right, we should get a little animation for Ixion. And if we, if that's what happens, then we did it right. And then I have to go back and redo those other three. But that should be fine. Goodbye, Machina Panzer. I almost said Machina Striker. That's my guy. He's Machina Panzer. No mercy. You know what I could try for some of these guys to see if I can if they can beat the Grand Cup hard. I was thinking put two Iron Dukes on them, but then I just realized like it doesn't freaking matter. It's really just about not getting those two. The Shady Duo and Tom Berry the Ripper. Like, if I don't get those, I win. If I get those, I lose. So maybe this is better with the... Just uh, putting the double XP on them and getting them leveled. All right, one more level. there's anybody supposedly according to google this would give even more experience let's try the help readers so i'm pretty sure all the fiends i have should be able to take on the help readers no problem okay yeah that was good all right we're going to try the unlock um, again. Let's see if this works. See if I did it right. We're discovering the, the answer to the puzzle together, you guys. Okay. Machina Striker. Let's go. This fiend has a faith fragment. Okay. Apparently, this was a new message. This is not what it said before. Um, but this is clearly what we need to do. Have it to say. Faith Fragment. There we go. Here's our little cutscene. Okay, and there's Ixion. Fabulous. Slam that hook. You got this, Ixion. Okay, Ixion's entered the Fiend Arena. So that's what we did wrong on the others. Um, so let's go into the trap creatures now that we've got a spot. Um, what have we got? We've got a whole bunch of specials. Um, let's get from Moonflow. We should be able to get our Flan Blanco. So let's try to get him. There we go. Here's Flan Blanco again. Yes, we want to let him into the gull wings. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, creature creator menu. Okay. Then we need to clear another spot for the mycotoxin. So let's do... Let's level up another one of our large ones. Let's put Humbaba in there. Okay, Covenant of Growth mascot. Apparently I had this idea last stream if he's got Covenant of Growth on him. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, let's put um, Key to Success. And then let's put... Uh, not Iron Duke. Where's my Black Lore? There you are. Black Lore. So he has Flare. Okay, so he's at level 41. And we are going to enter tournament. Thank you so much for lurking, Koneko. Thank you so much. Oh, and my things. Oh, yay. Stream Elements is working today. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out and keeping the stream window open and going. Um, I really appreciate that. Okay. So he's level 41. Oh, my gosh. And all your lurky emotes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I just the urge to do Grand Cup hard. I swear. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I can't stop. Okay, let's even see. Shady Duo's here. And Tom Barry the Ripper's here. I'm probably gonna get Tom Barry the Ripper on my second freaking one based on where he was. Oh, and his electricity heals this guy. That's annoying. Oh, he killed him anyways. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll get it. Yep, Tom Barry the Ripper. There he is. There he is. Ruining my day. How far can you get him, Baba? Not even one turn. Holy cannoli. Okay. Sorry, friend. Sorry, friend. Okay, it's 45, though, on the other one. So maybe we can just go do Grand Cup. We need to get him up to 46. But if he can get one Fiendtail bonus, then we only have to get him to 45. And then we're all good. So let's see if we can finish this without leveling. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. Hell yeah, Humbaba. You got this. I believe in you. Come on, Flare. Well, I guess that works. Uppercut works too. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, who's next? Who's next? Come for me. Okay, there we go. That was easy, this one's easy. We got them. The Raging River. Flare, we love it. There we go. Last one. Hopefully we get a fiend tail bonus because he's not 45 yet. Oh, easy peasy. There we go. Yes. Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme that bonus. Oh, no, I guess he's too high. Maybe it's 40 instead of 45. I thought it was 45. Okay, well, so then I guess what's really faster is going and doing... Oh, not that far. Okay, Hellbreeders. Let's fight the Hellbreeders.
You know what I just realized? When Humbaba died before to Tom Barry the Ripper, he didn't meteor the Tom Barry the Ripper. That's not fair. How come when it's my Humbaba, he doesn't do the meteor when he dies? When it's the other way around, he meteors me. That's not right. That's not right at all. Okay, that's 40, level 43. It's super rude. Like, it should be fair. I should be able to Meteor at the end. Just like the other one does. All right, 44. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I googled. Hellbreeders gives way more experience. If you can beat Hellbreeders, this is good. This is good experience grind. And put all your double shit on. Because we are double trouble. Alright, one more level, I think, because I think I just heard the level up to even though I didn't look at it. Okay, there we go. We should be able to release him now. Okay, so Hellbreeders. Fighting Hellbreeders, that's the ticket. It's good shit. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. All right, Humbaba, you good? Okay, here we go. Let's read this fiend tale. Are you the one who captured me? Hurry up and finish me. I've grown tired of this life. I am an accursed fiend. I wish to put an end to my days of bloodshed. Back in my thieving days, my mates and I wandered into a cave. In it were fiends we'd never seen before. We hid in the shadows and watched them. It appeared that they had gathered some, for some ritual. Oh, there was more to that one. It was right then that I heard a dark voice speak directly into my mind. Fight each other until only one of you is left alive, it said. Me and my fellow thieves had been cursed, you see. Having lost all rational thought, I slaughtered the others and became a fiend. I found myself alone. Many times I tried to take my own life, but it proved to be impossible. I could not die, and there was no one who would kill me. I would wander for eternity looking for blood. I dream of the people that I killed every night. With sad eyes, they shout, but I can't understand them. What scares me the most is, nowadays, I feel nothing after seeing the dream. Body and soul, I've now completely become a fiend. A high summoner can surely send me to the far plane, could she not? Free me from this cursed existence, so I can go apologize to my mates. But wait, if I die, if I'm released from this agony, what will happen to the mates that I killed? Oh shit, this is a dark one. The path to the far plane, the boundary between worlds. The fate of a hideous fiend is to kill your comrades so that you may live. I've come to this place in order to escape this fate. If I take this one step, will I really be free? Will I really be saved? Shinra, every night I'm haunted by my, my dreams of the comrades I killed. They're all looking at me sadly and shouting something at me. But I can't hear their voices. The curse was too strong. If you hadn't killed me, I would have killed you. So don't torture yourself any longer. I want at least one of us to find peace. I can hear it. I can hear you. Did the days I spent with the Gullwings change me? Did I, at the very end, regain my humanity? I was now able to hear those voices that I was unable to hear for such a long time. I've decided not to go to the Far Plane alone. The Gullwings and my comrades at the arena have redeemed my soul. 
And so now I will do everything in my power to save their souls. We have to all be together when the curse is lifted. Alone no longer. To quell the restless souls of my comrades, I will embark on a pilgrimage around Spira. This is not the end, it's the beginning. The beginning of a new journey, a new life. I wonder if they all went into the cave with Shu Yin, and that's what happened. That was the dark voice. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Terrifying. Okay, um, we're gonna try to trap the mycotoxin with one of these specials in Xanarkin next. So if we come here, do a special pod, and do the fungus. Yes, okay. Need you. Okay, so we've gotten those. We're gonna have to get Flame Dragon again, but we got those two at least pretty easily. All right, let's, um, who do we want to do next? Let's do this guy. Okay, he's level 42, so that means he needs to be 47. 47. Okay. All right, we don't want Valiant Luster. We want Covenant of Growth. I keep getting hiccups. Okay, and then we're doing Black Lore and Kita success. Okay. Oh, stop hiccuping. Okay. Got this. All right, and we're gonna do our Hellbreeder strategy. There we go. I'm sure he can beat them. Pretty, it should be pretty easy for him. Yeah, no problem. Okay, and got just got a level from the one battle. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's keep going. Yeah, this is going fast, doing this strategy. I like this. Doing the cups was good when I was lower levels, but now that I'm in the 40s, it's, uh, it's, it's no bueno. No bueno, no bueno. Because clearly the, the shady duo in the uh, Tom Berry the Ripper is there just to be like a stopgap <laughs> to say like, no, this is the limit until you like get really strong. Which is fine. Like, I'm cool with that. Like the game can have stuff like that. I think that's okay. I just got to come up with a different strategy for this mid level area. Okay, we're getting a level every time. Fucking awesome. I love this for us. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, well, if we keep this trend, last battle, and then we can go watch his fiend tail. Oh, no, one more, one more, okay. All right, we gotta do one more. Almost, there's a few hundred off. There we go, okay. Let's go watch his fiend tail. Mm 
Okay. Have you ever heard the tale of the Blades of Meehan, founder of the Crusaders? His bravery was unparalleled, but he was also well known as a sword collector. To tell you the truth, I myself was one of Meehan's blades. 800 years ago, I was a fiend who lurked in Jose, assaulting unwitting travelers. I was a fiend that wouldn't die, even after being killed. The people asked crusaders for help. Several days later, a lone swordsman came and challenged me. That was Meehan himself. After a long battle, I was defeated by him. Wary of my inability to die, I begged Meehan to help me. He replied, then you shall become a blade fighting alongside me to restore peace to Spira. That day, I became an undying blade serving the great warrior Meehan. I suffered not one nick cutting through swaths of armor and bestowed many a fiend with one swing from Meehan. I aided Meehan, my new master, and he taught me what it meant to have pride. However, change was afoot with the master's death. The swords he had accumulated were scattered across Spira. Some were sealed away, others left to rot, and then there was me, an undying fiend made into a weapon. Eventually, I returned to my fiend form, my mind turning back into that savage, bloodthirsty creature. Okay, he, he meant he became a literal sword. I thought it was a figurative sword, like he followed Meehan around and cut things for him. But no, he literally became a sword. Okay. Only when I talk to you can I hold back my savage nature and reminisce about my days with the master. However, that will not last long. Eventually, I'll completely revert into a savage fiend wandering Spira. I would like to return to Master Meehan's side before I forget the pride that he once taught me. Okay, let's see if we can release you. Let's see if we can release you, fiend, to the far flame. King Tokuba keeps his fiend nature in check and arrives at the site of the Meehan statue. Master Meehan. Master Meehan, forgive me for the delay, but I, King Tokuba, have returned. Even in death, you continue to protect Spira. Long ago, when I was a soulless fiend, you guided me out of the darkness. Much time has passed since then, and I have once again become a fiend. Forgive me. Ah! Oh, he's the sword now. <gasps> Meehan statue did that for him. Waiting for the day when one succeeds the will of Meehan, King Tokobob, something I missed it because I read too slowly and in later years became known in Spear as King Tokuba, the Untamable Blade. Okay, wow. No, we don't need M's. Okay, that was crazy. Okay, we've got a couple more in Beaconel that we didn't trap yet, so let's do that. So there is a Helm in Beaconel that we need. Let's try to get him. Okay, yes, Heavy Salad, we need you. All right, cross him off the list. All right, let's next do Wasp Queen. Okay, not Valiant Luster. We're gonna do Covenant of Growth. Mascot. Key to success. And black dwarf. Oh, there was health readers. Okay. All right, beat him up, girl, beat him up. Easy peasy, you got this. I 
Okay, I forgot to check what level. What level are you, Wasp Queen? 45, okay. So she's at 45. She's got to get to 50. So we're still on the step of getting through all the B Canal themes since we did the Cactuar, opened up the Cactuar dungeon um, last week. And all of those fiends are large because you know it's the jumbo fiends inside of there. That's why we've got so many larges by themselves right now. Okay, we almost get enough experience with one level, one, one whole level per, almost. So that's really cool. Two or three more battles. So we've got one more Beacon Elfine to catch, and then we can kind of move on to the next step. Sort of, although I think, I think I might go ahead and get all of these large ones done. since they can only do by themselves. So that makes more sense to me to try to finish these before I catch a bit more. All right, 50, that was fast. Okay. Let's go watch her fiend tail. All right. Don't touch me with your grubby hands. I'm sure you can tell, but I'm the queen of one of the most powerful wasp clans in Makalania. Deep in the forest, I have many hives filled with servants. Each day is full of flowers and good food. I do whatever I want, whenever I want. That's how a queen should live, don't you think? You should be honored that I'm taking the time to talk to a lowly Albed kid like you. By the way, aren't you wondering what a queen like me is doing in a place like this? I'll tell you why. It's because the workers at the hive are driving me crazy lately. Oh my God. <laughs> they keep saying that I'm the queen, so I should find a partner soon and have lots and lots of babies. I guess that's the fate of one born a queen. So anyway, I'm looking for a marriage partner. This, this was not expected. Hey, is the airship bridge due for renovation yet? It's so cramped. There's so many more people around than I'm used to. It's suffocating. By the way, Shinra, what do you think of him, brother? No, not him. You know, the, the arms, the smile. I'm talking about Buddy. I find him alluring. Maybe I'll just pick him, huh? Oh, but maybe there's someone he likes already. Shinra, are you listening? Oh my god, we, got, we have a Buddy fan. Okay. Hey, the bed springs in the living quarters are too hard. They're killing my back. By the way, Shinra, what do you think of him? Who? You know who? The smile the work ethic. I'm talking about the barkeep. Hello, Baffy. Welcome back today. <laughs> just the thought of him hugging me with those big arms. I would probably just die and go to the far plane. Hey, Shinra, are you listening? Huh? You say that the barkeep's already seeing someone? So what? I'm the queen of love. One pick prick from my stinger and he'll be in a love slave. Just you watch. Oh my god. By the way, Baffy, this is typically what I stream Final Fantasy content. We're on Final Fantasy X-2. We're doing our theme tales right now. We do a lot of 100%s and things like that. So I'm showing off everything. We're in a new game plus. I'm home, my darlings. Have you been good? 
Welcome home, your highness. Welcome home, your highness. <laughs> yes, be quiet now. I brought back a groom candidate. Even whilst I was in love, and when I was feeling down, he was always there for me. After a long time, I finally realized that he was the one. And this is him! She brought all three. Me? Wait, what? Now hurry, and carry him to the nest. Now, just hold on a second. Shin Shinra's a child. You can't marry him. You can't marry him, Queen. You can't. Um. What is this? It's not him. Uh, I've been had. Yeah, dodge that shit, Shinra. You don't want to get married right now. You need a little more experience to take on the likes of me. Wow! Shinra, you tell her! Oh my god! What the heck? <laughs> okay, 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 Shinra. Alright, so next we're gonna try to get... Um, this is from Beaconel. We're, so, we're one more in Beaconel. Um, there's an imp. Where's the imps? There's the imps. Okay. Yes, this is what we need. Elder Zervan. Zer Zervan? Yeah, Elder Zervan. Okay. That's all the Beacon Elf fiends, so it's time to get those guys leveled up. Okay, cross him off my list. <clears throat> Uh, organized team. The fiends that have feelings for some of the crew members are the funniest part, I swear to god. Okay, let's do heavy salad next. We've got this one and the Zervian and the Cactuar. We'll do the Cactuar last out of these guys. Okay. Alright, heavy salad. Uh, oh, not higher power. Covenant of Growth. Moogle. Or mascot, I guess. Um, Black Lore. And keys to success. There we go. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That should be good. That should be good. Oh, wait. We're not doing it that way. That's right. We're going into the battle simulator, and we're going to fight Hellbreeders. Uh, yes. Okay, and he's level 41. So he needs to get to 46. Ooh, he takes a lot of XP to level. Hello, Baker. How's it going? Welcome in, by the way. How are you today? I'm Karen, by the way. We're a primarily Final Fantasy streamer. Uh, we're playing through 10-2 right now. How do you get that growth grid? Oh, the Covenant of Growth? I don't remember. <laughs> Um, we've got almost all the garment grids, though. There's only one garment grid in this game that we don't have. We do a lot of 100% runs. So, like, I try to get everything and show off everything in each of the Final Fantasy games. So we're doing 10-2 now. Let me see if I can find it in my notes. Covenant of Growth Garment Grid. Oh, you beat Freyella, I remember. So when you're doing the Cactuar mission in Chapter 5, the very last Cactuar that's actually in the little Cactuar dungeon at the end of that whole chain Freya is Freyella. And uh, you have to actually win the shooty game with Freyella. 
trying to find out where to farm a pea. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, I'm fighting Hellbreeders over and over. I, they're rewarding a lot of XP right now. I would say if you want to farm AP, you want to finish the Chocobo Dungeon and get the AP egg out of there. And then you can farm AP pretty, pretty easily because you'll have the AP egg. That's what I would do if I were you. So have you done the Chocobo Dungeon? It's the Chocobo... The Chocobo Dungeon is where the AP egg is from. So you have to unlock that. And there's guides on how to do it. It's, it you have to catch and, uh, catch and send out a whole bunch of bold Chocobos. Um, and there, are, if you just Google unlock Chocobo Dungeon, you'll find what I'm talking about, and it'll, like, walk you through it step by step. So you can unlock that, and that's where you get the AP egg. I can't find it? Well, you probably have to Google it, then you'll find it. Because it's multiple steps, so I wouldn't really be able to walk you through it here. Because it'll take you a long time. But depending, we might be doing it. Because we do have to do that pretty soon, so we might be doing it here soon, but it takes a couple of hours. Uh, did we level him up enough? I was distracted. A good distraction, though. Uh, let me just go check. Um, oh, if I go to Fiend Arena and then organize, that's right. Then I can see his level. Okay, 46. Perfect. So let's go read his Fiend Tale. But yeah, if you stick around, Baker, um, we might be doing that today. Depending. It depends on how far we get. And we might be unlocking the Chocobo Dungeon together on stream. All right. Um, creature history. Okay, yes. Perfect. Okay. It's too cramped. Looks like I won't do well with the neighbors either. I keep thinking I should say hi, but I just can't. I think I'm just too sensitive. I'll never make friends at this rate. I, I met someone in Kilika. I gathered up my courage and asked him to come over and hang out. He didn't seem sure, so I said he can bring friends, and then... They agreed. It's been so long since I've had this much fun. Oh, but this is a secret. Well, actually, it was fun at first. I mean, they warmed up to the likes of me, after all. But today, again, they refused to go home, and it seems like there's more? At least, smaller ones. If the Gullwings find out about this, will they fire me? Oh my gosh, I, we won't fire you. We won't fire you, Mr. Salad. I failed again. They've multiplied so much. I don't know what to do. The room's about to burst. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Huh? There seem to be some missing. Hey, don't go outside without asking. Hey! Oh my god. What the heck? What the heck? Salad! What the heck? Oh, they are all gathered around. Sorry, sorry. Are they okay with it? I don't they don't look very pleased. It's monkeys. Oh my god, he he invited on a zillion monkeys. What? Their airship has become like the temple in Xanarkand. <gasps> Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'll gather everyone up and leave. <gasps> Shinra kept one. Oh, he hold a light baby. Oh, look at that face. Shinra, you keep him? This is mine. I knew it. He keeps him. Uh, no, we need we need L ones. 
Oh my god, that was too cute. That was too cute. Oh my god. Okay, um... Do we need to trap? Okay, no, we don't need to trap anything else. I'm just gonna level up the last um, large ones from B Canal. We're not gonna trap anymore at the moment. All right, party members. Let's do Elder Zervon. And then we will do, just like we've been doing, key to success. And let's do black lore. Okay. Ba -ba. I think that's good. Yes. And we'll do hell breeders again. Yes. I'm sure Elder Zervon can take them. He uses spells a lot when not and doesn't seem to want to use flare. But that's okay, he did it anyway. Good job, dude. Good job. Okay, and he was level 46. I forgot to write that down at first, so we've got 46. So he needs to get to 51. Should be easy with this track. We're doing good with it. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, use flare. There you go. Kill him in one hit that way. Instead of using the other spells. Well, I guess... The August Bell kills the Tindaloos. Whatever, you know what you're doing. You don't need to listen to me. I'll shut up now. <laughs> you just you just take it. You just take it, Zer uh, Zervon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing the Hellbreeders is definitely the way. Oh, yeah. Go again. Okay, see how fast it goes when you do flare on them? You can learn for next time. One more level. Thought that was gonna be the last one. Okay, one more fight, then we can go watch his fiend tail. It's almost a level per battle. Almost, not quite. There we go. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see his fiend tail. Hmm? You there. You know of the name Awaka? Yes, we love Awaka. Okay, just as I suspected, the Awaka bloodline still lives. For me, it's a name I can never forget. Every time I hear the name, I burn with fury and cannot stay still. Curse you, Awaka. <gasps> oh no, the grudge between me and the Awaka go back 120 years. It all began with my family heirloom, a treasure sphere. At the time, the Awaka were the most powerful merchant clan in Bavel. Their leader, Awaka the 20th, was a sharp one. It just so happened one day that Awaka stole the sphere that had been passed down our family for generations. As I frantically chased after him, he threw one measly grenade at me, as if that would stop me. But lo and behold, the explosion rendered me immobile. Yes, it was a petrified grenade. And of course, after that, the rat escaped with my sphere. Ugh, it still angers me to even think of it. I was not about to let such treachery stand. I sought to have my revenge on the next generation. Awaka the 21st was quiet but he was a quick thinker. At our final showdown, I cast the strongest spells I knew, Vairaga, Blazaga, as well as Thundaga and Watarga. But at the next moment, the scoundrel smiled. Yes, hidden in his pocket was a star curtain. I was done in by my own spells reflected back at me. Ugh, I still shudder at the thought of it. Young Master Shinra, I swear to you, I saw a man who announced himself as a walk of the 23rd. Though granted his vapid expression bears no resemblance to his predecessors, the Awaka bloodline yet lives. Now is the time. I shall finally have my revenge after all these years. Wahahaha. <laughs> Just you wait, Skyon of Awaka. Oh my god. I can't let you hurt Awaka, dude. I can't let you. Awaka's my buddy. He's my bestie. He's my friend. Oh no. <gasps> Leave him alone. I found you at last, blood of Awaka. Now, give me back my treasure sphere. Wait, wait, wait a second. What do you mean, treasure sphere? I'm just an average merchant that would see you that you would see anywhere. Look, I don't know anything about that. Don't play dumb with me. Ah, I'm a pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> Your ancestor, Oak of the 20th, took from me my precious treasure sphere of my tribe. I'll take back my sphere no matter what, even if I have to strip it from you. Ah! Oh no. Don't hurt Owaka! I knew it. You were hiding it in your coat pocket. Fitting image for a useless fool like you who is unworthy of his heritage. You'd better pray you will not freeze to death. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. To think such a pathetic man like that is Oaka's successor. They're finished for sure. Halt! What? You are Oaka the 20th! How? You've been dead for years! Yes, it is true. I am already dead. But I cannot stand idly by while you bully my great-grandson. I have returned from the far plane to, to protect my descendants. Yay! Okay, this can't be. Owaka is saved. Now give me back the sphere. Or else. I will take you to the far plane. I can't believe it. No matter what, I'll reclaim what's mine another day. Okay, what kind of sphere was it? Yes, I have successfully retrieved the treasure sphere. Psyche! <gasps> Disguises are my specialty. My great-grandfather returning from the far plane? Give me a break. What, my great-grandfather left me with a chocobo-like fleeing skill? What, my great-father left me with is ma a machine-like accounting skills? And what my father left me with is my silver-tongue negotiating skills? That's me, Owaka the 23rd. My, this great-grandson is quite fearsome. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. I love that Owaka got a fiend tail. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Uh, yes, we need larges. Okay. <gasps> I love that so much. I love it so, so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do the next one. Okay, organized team. 
Okay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Sahajan Chef. Chief. Sahajan Chief. You're gonna have to follow up the, uh, the performance of a lifetime. It was an Owaka one. Like, what could possibly be better? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, Covenant of Growth. Mascot. Black Lore. And key to success. Okay. He's ready to go. Man, it really sucks for him to have to follow that, but maybe his fiend tail will be pretty good too. Alright, gotta get him to level 50. So level 50. Level 50. He's just, like, using his regular attack and just, like, beating their butts. Like, he's really strong. more battle. And then we can watch his green tail. All right, Mr. Chief, what you got for us? All right, analysis failed. Fiend not showing cognitive activity. Shinra analysis, no response. No way can I analyze it like this. Maybe it's broken. Analysis failed. Fiend not showing cognitive activity. Shinra analysis, I'm analyzing it, but not reading anything. Nothing at all, unbelievable. Analysis failed. Fiend not showing cognitive activity. Shinra analysis. I have no idea what it's thinking. I take that as a challenge. Analysis failed. Fiend not showing cognitive activity. Shinra analysis. No luck whatsoever. Sometimes there's no helping it. I'm just a kid after all. Okay. Are they trying to say that this one's too dumb? Is that what's happening right now? What is this? This one could be a greater genius than me. If you think all fiends actually think, think again. What? Okay, I don't know if he was like super smart or super dumb. I don't understand that one. Okay, well, whatever. We got no Waka one, so like I'm super happy. It's fine. Um, okay. Who's next? Uh, Jumbo Cactuar, okay. Jumbo Cactuar. 
Okay, wait a second. Think about this, Karen. You have the Cactuar Cup. We have to find out if Jumbo Cactuar can beat up the Cactuar Cup. So we're not going to do Covenant of Growth. We're going to do Valiant Luster. Mascot. And we're going to do... Ooh. I like that. Okay. Enterprise and Invincible. Is there maybe a better garment grid we should be using? Hang on. Okay, wait. Let's do higher power for the break HP limit. And then instead of Enterprise, we can do... Yeah, we'll just give him Black Lore so he can do Flare. Wait, can he do Flare anyway? No, he can't do Flare anyway. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this and see if he can beat up the Cactuar Cup. Huh? Jumbo Cactuar doesn't count as a Cactuar? That's dumb. Whatever, fine. We'll just do our regular thing that we were doing, which is leveling them up since Jumbo Cactuar doesn't count as a Cactuar. Whatever. Hell breeders, let's go. Please level 41 or turn to get him level 46. So it should be easy, just like these others. Come on, Cactuar, just flare. He's like so skittish, the way he fights. There we go. That was unnecessary, Cactuar. Well, I thought this was going to be one where I'd want to capture another one after I release this one, but I guess not. I guess Cactuar Cup, it's like literally you have to use a Cactuar, not just a Cactuar. Which is fine, I guess. Whatever. And we do have a, a Cactuar, so that's all good. And now that I'm reflecting on that particular fiend tale with the Sahajin chief, I feel like they were picking on him. Like picking on him saying that fiend type is dumb. That was mean. What if they're smart ones? We haven't done the fiend tale for the other one, the smaller um, Sahajin, but we will be doing him soon. So we'll see what kind of fiend tale he gets if he's also called dumb.
All right. Keen tail time. Oh, creature analysis failed, but Fiend, Fiend has a faith fragment. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, let's release him. Let's see what his faith fragment is. I didn't realize he was one of those. <gasps> oh, it's the Maga Sisters. Maga sisters have entered the fiend arena. No, we need we're trying to get larges. Okay. Alright, I need to do I need to fix this situation with the flying blanco and the my toxin. So let's see. This would be 44, 47, so that'd be 40, 40, 49, so that'd be 49. No, P52 that they need to get to, and I guess, like, who needs more love, Cactuar or Chocobo? Cactuar needs some love, so we'll put these three together, and um, we'll go level them up. Okay, Covenant of Growth, Mascot, oh. It's gonna make us do this first. Covenant of Growth, Mascot. You can have Valiant Luster mascot. And you can also have Black Lore and an Iron Duke. And you can have Keys to Success. And let's see. Let's give him, um, I wanted to give him another black floor, but I don't see it. Oh, they're all being used up, okay. I guess we'll give you an adamantite. What do you call a paper airplane that can't fly? Stationary. Oh my god, hi dragon. Hello, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, every time you pop in, I feel like, oh, it's been forever. But guess what? I'm gonna say it again. It's been forever. How have you been? <laughs> okay, we'll give Flan Blanco the other Iron Duke, and we'll give Flan Blanco also the AP egg. I don't think. Yeah, that just gives him more luck, I guess. Whatever. I think that's fine. This is good. Okay. I'm well, how have you been? I've been awesome. I rebranded. I'm a Final Fantasy streamer now. This is our primary thing that we do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be playing through lots of Final Fantasy games in 2024. When are you starting 14, lol? <laughs> you funny. You funny. Not the MMOs, the single player ones. I played 14 though, and I played I played 11 when it was, you know, relevant. I assume the servers are still live for 11, but you know, I haven't played it since it, since uh, a long time ago. 14's a good game. 14's a good game, you know? But uh, it just wasn't like super for me. I don't know. They're live still, tried it, but not my jam, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it just, like, I do think that the Realm Reborn version of 14 was way better than what they originally released, but it's still just, no, oh, excuse me, it still just, like, wasn't, it wasn't for me, you know? I loved that I could play a cat girl, though. Like, that was amazing. And I liked a lot of elements of it, but, uh, but yeah. 
I don't know. 14's beginning is the roughest hell, but the story easily the best of the entire series. I don't disagree with you. I have never played another MMO with such a good, like, actual plot. But I guess when it comes to MMOs, I'm not looking for plot. I'm looking for, like, a world that I think is neat. And, um, I don't know, 14's world just didn't grab me like that. Although the, the plot and the story and the characters was, like, definitely the best of any MMO I've ever seen. Hands down, like, no contest. Cause that, and that's not typical for MMOs. Most MMOs, like, the story is kind of like... I mean, it's there, maybe, even. Not even there a lot of times. You know, there's, like, little interwoven plots, right? But 14 actually has, like, characters and shit. Very unusual for an MMO. Totally get it. I play Guild Wars 2 because in MMOs I like the overall content community interaction. I love the story is as a cheesy Saturday morning cartoon. Yes, I think I actually totally agree with you, Dragon, because since um, Classic WoW kind of came back into fashion, when I play an MMO, that's what I play. Like, because Season of Discovery is out right now, I'm playing the hell out of that. Um, like, I'm actually waiting for Phase 2 to start. I've kind of completed almost everything in Phase 1. But, like, when it comes to an MMO, like, I don't know, there's just, it's just not, story's not what I'm looking for, you know? So 14 just didn't, it didn't suck me in. Like, I thought it was a good game. But once I beat, like, for most of the main story of whatever expansions were out at the time, I was just kind of like, okay, I beat it now. I'm done with it. You know, to me, it, it, I treated it like a single player game and I didn't really feel the need to go, like, collect things or grind or raid. Like, it didn't really make me feel like that. How many hours are you into this game at the minute? Holy crap, Baker, I have a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, I mean, this is New Game Plus number two, so we're on run through number three, and we basically done almost everything. So, um, after we release these two fiends, I'm gonna go save, and then, and we'll see how many hours for this particular, for, for 10-2. It's not trying to be in mono, definitely has a Final Fantasy, what would that be? That would be 14 RPG first. Yes, it's an RPG first. It's definitely an RPG first, for sure. It's my favorite game of the series, though. Yeah, 10's my favorite. Um, I did not like 8 when it came out, but I want to play it again as an adult at some point, and uh, and I think I think it probably re will redeem itself in my eyes. I just I I didn't really like Squall. I I, did, I didn't connect to him as a character, so I was like not into 8. <laughs> to me, I was like the romance overtakes everything. This is dumb, and it was it, it, that's what I said at the time. But I was a kid, and I was dumb, and it was really just. I did not like that particular romance, right? Because, like, the romance in 10, whoo, so good. Loved it at the time, love it now, you know. Japanese version is more different as a character, really? Is that true? I've never played the Japanese version. I don't really know anything about it because it just wasn't my favorite. So, like, I just don't know a ton. Um, okay, I think that was enough levels. We should be able to fix what we messed up with these two. So let's go see. Yeah, okay, there we go. This fiend has a faith fragment. Okay. You played 7 Remake? I have not. I have watched plenty of playthroughs of 7 Remake. I've not played it myself. I've played OG 7, definitely, at the time, and replayed it um, later on, too. I love OG 7. Uh, 7 was my favorite until 10 came out. Yeah, all the dot, dot, dot option choices you can do is a more friendly chat option instead of him being a stoic dick. Really? I would have liked him better, I think, then. I would have liked him better. Because, like, I, I way connected with Titus and people were like, oh, he's so whiny. And I'm like, um, he went from being a Blitzball star to literally starving in the cold. You'd whine too. Okay. He was a he was pampered baby and then he had to go, like, actually survive. Like, it compl was completely understandable. I thought it was valid. I would whine too, you know? Okay, we don't need M's. Um, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that fixed it. So let's release this one. It should say Faith Fragment. Yes. Okay, so we have to recapture the Flame Dragon. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. How did you get Shiva? We leveled up and released that um, released that theme. And see, it's about to do the same thing for Valapor. We messed these up. We were supposed to do these in earlier chapters. We're on Chapter 5 now. 
Um, so I had to go back and do them because I did not understand the directions from the doctor. <laughs> but I, I got it now and we fixed it. Okay, so if it's the one we're missing. Um, no, we don't want that. Okay. Uh, let's see what, what trap pods do we have? Okay, we've got some specials and larges. We're gonna need to dump those specials and um, get more larges, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, all right, okay. Uh, so we're done with fiends for a second. We have to come back out and actually progress the game a little bit to be able to catch new fiends. So let's take the equipment off of our of our guys. Oh, not Yuna. Oh, Cactuar, yeah. Get off. Remove. Uh, remove. Okay. P -p 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 Party! Thank you, dragon! This is my, my cat paws. This is what my hands really look like. I don't, I don't do my nails. They just, you know, I just have a little pause. That's my real hands. <laughs> um, okay. Let's, um, let's YRP the group back up. And, uh, let's see what they've got. Crystal bangle and ribbon. Okay. Oh, we need to put their iron dupes on. Oh, wait. While I'm thinking about it. Not abilities, my god. Accessories. Let's sort the accessories. So we can actually find our shit. Alright, so we're gonna do Iron Duke. And Iron Duke. Alright. It's time. Oh, we gotta go save. I need to save before I do more. I never played 10 or 10 too, but from all the stuff I've uh, seen, I love Pain. That's because Pain's amazing. You know, Pain is the new character in 10 too, so you would think, like, oh, she's new. She's, like, she's not that cool. Like, she's thrown in or whatever. She's not your favorite from 10. But no, she's legitimately cool. So 95 hours is the answer to your question, Baker. We have put 95 hours into this game. Um, by the way, the playlist of all the past run-throughs and everything is on my YouTube channel. If you would ever like to go check it out, it's in a playlist, so you can put it on and play it in the background. I think that my voice and playthroughs are really great uh, background noise, personally, and uh, absolutely think you should do that. Okay, so y'all, off stream, off stream I prepared for this because the next step is we have to go unlock the Chocobo dungeon. So what I did is, um, is I went and filled up our Chibokobos at the ranch. So, okay, so you can see here, uh, Choco Browser. So you can see I got, I got it all full, they're all bold, okay? And they all can at least go to level two. So you guys remember how to do this? We did this during the first playthrough, but what we have to do, and I think it's we dispatch them to the Calm Lands. Uh, yes, okay. So we need to dispatch them to the calm lands and they all have to come back safe and sound. Okay, yes, he's run off into the unknown. Go, Choco. Make me proud. Okay. Uh, three. So we have to dispatch these four level ones. Yes. Make me proud. Okay. Okay, and now all four of those level ones have to come back safe and sound. Um, so they're not gonna come back until we do seven battles. So it's time to just go run around and fight seven battles. So we're gonna count them. Um, oh, we don't need to super speed, but we do need to turn on, there we go. Enemy encounters frequent. So let's step outside and let's fight seven battles. Not uncled this bit. Yeah, to get to this, you had to do certain things in the earlier chapters um, to get to this. If you didn't do them, then um, you're not going to be able to do the choke post up because you have to have class go there. Okay, battle number one. Let's fight it. And I don't think you even, I don't think you have to fight them. I think if you start the battle and you run away, like that's just as good. We're gonna fight them because why the heck not? It'll be fine. 
We're gonna need to level up anyway, because we are gonna have to traverse down the Via Infinito. So yeah, um, we're gonna have to do that in this run too. We've done it two other times. This will be time number three, but it is what it is. You know, we love Via Infinito. We love kicking Trema's ass, so it's cool. How do I unlock that bit? Oh, you have to do a bunch of stuff to get Clasco. So you have to invite Clasco on your airship, and then you have to like come down here and you have to do a mission in chapter three. Like it's a whole bunch of steps. If since you're already in chapter five, Baker, if you didn't do that stuff, you can't do it. You have to do it like in a new game plus. But yeah, what you want to Google for this one is unlock Chocobo Dungeon. And uh, and then you'll find all the steps that you have to do in the previous chapters. I'm on Xbox, so I have this bonus, like the sword and the times for That doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter for unlocking this. Okay, so this was battle number two, I think, or maybe three. If anybody else was counting, <laughs> tell me. I think this is either two or three. All right, battle number four. So I think it was two. That was two before. Battle number five. I think, unless I accidentally added one just there. It's a wrap. Battle number six. Okay. Um, I think the next one is battle number seven, but just in case we'll do eight, just to make sure I didn't miscount. But you only have to do seven. You have to do seven battles before they, and then they'll come back. Many good games coming out right now. True, Pal World and Shrouded Hell Drivers 2, Skull and Bones, Dragons, uh, Dragons Dogma. My poor wallet. Well, you know, at least um, Pal World is on Xbox Live. That's how I was playing it. By the way, it's so good. Um, I know there's like all kind of controversy around it, but like legit, it's um, Game Freak needs to take note, and they need to make that. Like it's it's so the oh, God, the gameplay loops. The gameplay loops. They all interconnect and they're all beautifully executed. I'm running a server for it and you need Steam version. Oh, I see, I see. You need a Steam version if you're doing that. Okay. Yeah, I no, I played it on Xbox, uh, on the Xbox Game Pass. Okay, just in case any of the chocobos run away, we're gonna save because we have to do it where none of those chocobos have run away. So let's go talk to Clasco, and uh, hopefully they haven't. The controversy's overblown. It's scary movie of Pokemon games. Yeah, that's what I think too. I think honestly, like it just it gets clicks right now, and I think that most Pokemon players, like myself, just feel so underserved to get by Game Freak. There's a lot of feelings there, seeing like, oh, this is the shit Game Freak could have been given us. This is the shit they could have been given us, and they've chosen to give us garbage instead. You know what I mean? There's like a lot of feelings there, and Nintendo is very litigious, so yeah. Okay, so let's see what happened. We sent Choco Runner 1 to the Calm Lands, right? Well, it's back safe and sound. Fuck yeah. Good job, Choco. Okay, uh, back safe and sound. Yes, we love it. Uh, Calm Lands, back safe and sound. Beautiful. Okay, good, good, good. Back safe and sound. Yay, they're all safe and sound. Okay. We love to see it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to level them all up. Okay. Back, and then I need more greens. 
Yeah, gimme, gimme green. Okay, and then we're gonna dispatch again. So we get to dispatch them to Calm Lands again, all four to as level two, and they all have to come back. So, dispatch. Yes. Dispatch. Yes. Dispatch. Yes. Okay. So level twos are all out. What level do I need to be to be able to beat the game where the dress spheres I need to level up to beat the game so I can start a new game plus and do better next time? There's a lot of combinations that can beat the game, Baker. A lot of combinations. So, like, without knowing more about what you have, like, it's really hard for me to say. I don't really think I can answer your question. Like, you can beat the game... I think in the first go around, you can beat it if you're skilled and if you have good stuff in the 30s and 40s. Like, you don't have to get all the way to level 99. But it just depends on your skill level as well. So, like, the best I can say is just keep playing and try, and then you'll be able to do the new game plus. And I can also say it's very hard to unlock everything in this game without a guide. So don't feel like it's bad to Google you know how to do certain things in this game because things in later chapters don't work unless you've fun. unlocked them in previous chapters um so it's really hard to figure it out all on your own i think if you like want to do something where you're getting everything and all that stuff you're gonna have to check a guy all right this is battle number two we're counting this time So yeah, 30s or 40s, if you're skilled. If you're not skilled, maybe you need to be higher. It just kind of depends. But the game is not hard, like, to beat. I can't seem to beat the Dark Sisters. That's where I'm at. I would just level up if I were you then. Just get, like, 10 more levels, you know, and um, try again. Or 5 more levels and try again. I'm around 50. Yeah, you just need to level up then. I mean, because there's 99 levels. All right, that was battle number 3. There's 99 levels, so just get, get like, 10 more and then try again. Like, grind them up. Battle number four. What dress spheres are you using? Fantasy, fantasy games, you can just brute force by grinding. Yeah, you totally can. And this game's no different. Like, if you just grind up, then you'll be good. No matter, like, where you are, what stuff you have, what skill level you're at, you know. Battle number five. Battle number six. Dark Samurai, Dark Samurai, and White Mage. Oh, yeah. By Dark Samurai, do you mean Dark Knight? Nice dark work. Knight, Dark Knight, and White Mage? I mean, Dark Knight's good. Dark Knight's a good dress sphere. So I think you just need to level up. No worries, you're good. Yeah, that's a pretty strong dress sphere, so I think you just need to level up, and you will be able to beat it. Okay, was that seven? Dark Knight, what's my, one of my favorite Final Fantasy classes? For real. It's cool in this game, too. The Dark Knight in this game is awesome. Gunbreaker, those taken my number one from 14. Oh, is that like their gunner? Um, their gunner uh, class is called Gunbreaker. No, it's a gun blade class. Oh, a gun blade. That's cool. I didn't realize they had that. Okay. So again, we're going to save because we don't want any of the chocobos to run away and we're going to check them. Choco runner one, safe and sound. Yes. Choco runner two, safe and sound. Yes. 
Choco Runner 3, safe and sound. Fab, okay. Choco Runner 4, do me good, safe and sound. Yay, okay. So that was the level twos. Now we have to do the same thing, level three. Okay, so I noticed, so you'll notice like some of them can't get higher, right? So these ones won't go to level three. You can see the next level zero. So we need to find ones that will. Um, so, okay. So let's change our roster. So we're gonna get our reserve. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow friend, though. Thank you so much. Um, okay, change roster, Chocobo Runner 3, and we'll do that. Okay. Um, now we need to get these to level 2. Yes. Okay, so Choco Runner 3 still can't get to level 3. So let's change roster. Um, Choco Reserve 3. And then raise. Okay, still again. Okay, Choco Runner 3. Um, change roster. Okay, so all of these level 2s can go to level 3. I want to get some greens again. No, this is fine. Give me greens. Give me greens. Okay. Raise. We are going to do... Okay, so we did level 2. Now we're level 3. Yes. 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 Okay, now just like we did before, we have to dispatch all of these guys. So dispatch Chocobos, Calm Lands. And because they won't all fully level up, that's why before you even start on this, you want to get your um, entire ranch full of uh, Chocobos bold chocobos because then you'll have a chance that you'll have enough that will get all the way up to level five if you don't fill up that's not going to happen okay level threes are off now we can save again okay same as before we need to fight seven battles before we check again The music didn't kick in at first, and I was like, what is going on for a second? <laughs> I was like, what? <clears throat> All right, battle number one. Battle number two. You're going down! That's the spirit. <laughs> you are going down. You are going down. We got this. Easy peasy. Battle number three. Oh, we got the chocobo this time. Doesn't always happen that way. Battle number four. Did you say is the best area to grind up levels? Um... I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think in chapter five, pretty much anywhere is gonna be good. Battle number five, I think? We're on five or six. Yeah, I don't know if I have a specific recommendation on where to go to grind levels. This run through, I've been doing the grinding inside the Fiend Arena. But that's just because that's what I'm working on, is the Fiends. Would you rather be forced to sing along or dance to every single song you hear? Sing along? Dancing sounds 
dancing to every single song you hear sounds tiring. I don't mind doing either. No, I, oh, both is fine to me. Um, I'm not fussed. <laughs> but dancing sounds like sometimes I'd be too tired. So sing along. Yeah, I would rather be forced to sing along. I do that most of the time anyway, to be honest. <laughs> I sing along to most songs, even by myself, you know? Imagine hearing a song in the Walmart speakers and having to do one of the two. That would be pretty fucking crazy. Nice I'm not going to lie. Like going through the Publix and like a song comes on and you have to sing it. Um, okay, I think that was I think that was the last skill Yuna needed from Psychic. It was. Okay, what do we want to level up next for her? Um, she doesn't have very much that she's not leveled up. Okay, she's got... There's Gunner, Alchemist, Samurai... Black Mage, White Mage, Thief. She's 10% on Black Mage. I guess we could level up Black Mage for her. Um, let's put that on the Garment Grid. What are we doing? We're doing Valiant Luster, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're doing Valiant Luster, yes. Okay, let's put Black Mage on the Garment Grid. Yes, okay, that is the Garment Grid we were using. Okay, there we go. Yuna's moving along. Yuna's moving along. Okay, I think it was just two more battles. Where do you find Gun Mage and Alchemist? Alchemist, you're gonna end up getting if you do the Clasco thing, where you like the where you unlock the Chocobo stuff. So it's in an earlier chapter. If you go through Clasco's stuff, you'll end up getting it. Where do you find Gun Mage? Gun Mage, you have to help um, Tobley out in Moonflow in chapter one or three. I can't remember which chapter it's in, but it's one. It's one of the earlier chapters, and you go to the Moonflow and you help out Tobley and his assistant. Okay, I saw Pain got Excalibur. Oh, she's on the brakes now. Okay. Okay, she's got a lot left. Okay, one more battle, and then I think we can check on the Chocobos again. So yeah, Gun Mage is in an earlier chapter of Moonflow. Alchemist is if you help out Clasco. And there's a bunch of stuff you have to do to like get him to get on your airship and, and come to Calm Lands and all the stuff. Yeah, you gotta do new, new Game Plus for both of those. You can't get them in Chapter 5. Okay, I think that's enough battles. Let's go save and go check. What's up, Clasco? Stop stressing. Okay, Chocobo Runner 1, safe and sound. Good job. Chocobo Runner 2, safe and sound. Good job. Okay, Chocobo Runner 3, safe and sound. Yes, good job. Chocobo Runner 4, safe and sound. Fabulous. Okay, we love to see it. We're doing really good. Okay, so now... Um, okay. Runner 1 and 4 cannot level. So let's change roster. We're going to change 1 to this guy. And then we're going to change four to this guy. Okay, raise. Feet away. Okay, all of these can get to level four. Fabulous. In chapter five in the... Sand Island, there's a mission where I have to find 10 little people and then fight something big. Is it hard? Yes. But you should do that. You'll get, that's where you, how you can get the, if you beat the, the gun mini game for the last cactuar, the last little guy, Freyella, that's how you can get that Covenant of Growth garment grid that you saw you were asking about earlier. Okay, so let's try to get these all to level four. I should have enough greens. Okay. Oh, and they can all advance to level five. Okay. Lucky, lucky. All right. Let's go save. Is that boss hard to kill? Yeah. The boss at the end of Ekanel is pretty hard to kill. Okay. All right, you guys. So it's time for a stretch break. So we save. If you are watching the recording of this on YouTube next week during the week, 
Um, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. There will be another episode tomorrow. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.